Hey, we get it. How many times can one person be expected to answer stupid questions like, who are you wearing? Are you excited for tonight? What was it like working with so-and-so? Before there's some kind of meltdown, let alone a bit of attitude. I'm freezing. Call them angry, exhausted, or just plain crazy. But there are plenty of quick interviews that simply went off the rails, regardless of whom was to blame. Here, we'll show you 10 ridiculous red carpet interviews. If you enjoy this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And subscribe to MovieWeb to keep up with the conversation about all of the things we love. Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton. Long before Brangelina, there was Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton, who openly bragged about wearing vials of each other's blood as jewelry. Angelina even had that prominent Billy Bob tattoo with what looked like the dragon symbol of New York City hardcore band Sick of It All underneath. During a 2000 red carpet interview with MTV News, the PDA power couple said they'd just had sex in the car. You want me to be honest with you? We f***ed in the car on the way here. Scarlett Johansson. Isaac Mitzrahi is a fashion designer, not a reporter, but nevertheless, there he was, joining Ryan Seacrest and Juliana Rancic for E's live coverage of the Golden Globes. While fawning over her fashion, Mitzrahi helped himself to a handful of Scarlett Johansson's bosom. Totally working. Needless to say, the stunt was way over the line. I touched Scarlett's boobs. <laughs> Hannibal Burris. We love Hannibal Burris, his stand-up, his work on Broad City, the wonderfully bonkers Eric Andre show, and the stunt he pulled for the premiere of Spider-Man Homecoming. Burris delivers an unsurprisingly spectacular performance in a small role in Marvel Spidey reboot, but he couldn't make it to the premiere. Instead, he paid a pal 500 bucks to go in his place and pretend to be him. Um, I, I had a blast and, you know, I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. And in a sad commentary on celebrity news culture, Joe Carroll reported afterward that nobody challenged him about his identity. The dude did interviews as Hannibal. Amazing. Jim Carrey. Performance art? Philosophical enlightenment? A bit? Straight up hostility? Whatever it was, Jim Carrey's appearance on E! News during New York Fashion Week in September 2017 started off crazy as he circled a reporter and went downhill or uphill depending on your perspective from there. I wanted to find the most meaningless thing that I could come to and join and, uh, and, uh, and here I am. Do you believe in icons? I don't believe in personalities. I don't believe that you exist. But there's a wonderful fragrance in the air. Then he went into a quick James Brown impression. On the good foot! Ha! Yeah. You shut her down now. Okay. Sasha Baron Cohen. Ali G, Borat, Bruno. One of our favorite red carpet appearances by Sasha Baron Cohen was during his promotional tour for 2012's The Dictator, where he appeared in character as Admiral General Aladdin at the Academy Awards and promptly dumped an urn full of ashes all over Ryan Seacrest. Now, if somebody asks you what you are wearing, you will say, come to jail. Four years later, Seacrest snubbed the actor, turning away and heading into an interview with Lady Gaga instead. Baron Cohen wasn't having it, interrupting the interview to give Seacrest a friendly hug and tell him his suit looked nice. Seacrest, again, did not seem amused. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen. Amy Schumer. This wasn't an interview, but it was certainly ridiculous. At the Time 100 Gala in 2015, comedian Amy Schumer saw a power couple Kanye West and Kim Kardashian coming down the red carpet and threw herself at their feet. As Schumer later recounted to TV's Graham Norton, they didn't crack a smile. They had no idea who I was. I, I like think falling is the funniest thing, so I just, I just took a dive in front of them. In fact, Kim Ye simply stepped around her, even as onlookers laughed. David Lee Roth. Diamond Dave is always a great interview, even during this red carpet interview at the 2015 Billboard Music Awards, when the Van Halen frontman answered a question about how it feels to have achieved legendary status after all of these years, with some extended stuff about listening to dance music, the integrated bus system, his fluency in Spanish, the 1951 Mercury Lowrider he drives to 7-Eleven, and how he subscribes to Beatport. This hamburger don't need no helper. Ain't no rehearsing pants in my closet. Tommy Lee Jones. Tommy Lee Jones is a great actor with a terrible reputation in the entertainment news world. For whatever reason, he just doesn't seem to enjoy being interviewed at all. Excuse me, sir, are you chewing gum? It would be difficult to pick just one example, but don't take our word for it. Let's hear from legendary late comedian Joan Rivers on the man who played Two-Face in between Billy Dee Williams and Aaron Eckhart. He makes Hitler look warm and fuzzy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Joan, may you rest in wonderful peace, you rascal. DJ Academus, Joe Budden, and Migos. 
We aren't sure what exactly went wrong during this complex red carpet interview at the BET Awards in 2017, but it looked like Joe Budden and Migos were about to solve their problems with their fists. Later on social media, Joe Budden wrote, They was just a little too sassy for me, that's all. The ensuing memes made it all worth it. Black Bear and Mike Posner Yeah, we don't know what bit these two were trying to pull during this red carpet interview at the 2017 Grammys, but it fell pretty flat. It was not okay. In their defense, these interviews can get boring. Terrible! I feel awful! Also, as at least one user on social media commented, both of these dudes sort of looked like dollar store jokers, didn't they? Well, that does it for our look at 10 ridiculous red carpet interviews. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe to MovieWeb to keep up to date on the conversations about all of the things we love.